like the chemistry with us was automatic and it was real. And I think you can tell when you see people perform like that, you know, like if it's a real connection. And obviously we're having fun. So hopefully that makes the audience have fun as well. Sometimes we talk like stone cold to each other. <laughs> like this. <laughs> but I go home to my hot Asian wife. <laughs> And, like I, I, um, and she walks by the bathroom and she goes, really? And I, I go, <laughs> what? I go, what? You know? like, she opens the door and, I, and, I'm, and she goes, I can hear you talking like stone cold. And I'm, but I'm in the bathroom just looking in the mirror, don't cut myself a little promo. <laughs> we got to a point in Japan where like if we were doing a small like untelevised show where it was hard to have a serious match because either t anytime either one of us would tag in and like an eight man tag or something, we were just doing stone cold offense and stone cold voice <laughs> to make the other one laugh. Look at me stomping a mud hole in it right now. We had a big match on a pay-per-view over there and, and Nick Maccabe got in the ring and I went, get up out of here, out of my face. <laughs> and, he, and he looks at me and goes, really? Really? Right, so you right can't now? do that, man, no. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Stone Cold, that it's just, it never stops being fun. I was walking through the mall yeah. the other day with my wife, and I just kept cutting the Austin 316 promo on her. It's so fun to talk like Stone Cold. He's got one of the best voices of all time for this business. Like, yeah. the, the bus ride from Sendai, Japan to Tokyo is just, just say, six hours. Right. We did it for, for six, six hours. <laughs> AJ goes that back and forth, back and forth for six freaking hours. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Neither one of you two jerks is Steve Austin, okay? I'm sorry, AJ. I can't stop doing it. <laughs> Keep talking to me like Adam on dump you on your chin. <laughs> I can't stop doing it now. <laughs> yeah, it's real hard. There's also something special. <laughs> it's real hard. It's nuts. <laughs> There's also something special about when you can do an impression like that, but then incorporate yourself. Like, I don't think I ever heard Stone Cold cut a promo about how much he liked Bud Light Lime, but all of a sudden, Stone Cold Steve Austin likes those B double L's. Give me a B double L up in this. <laughs> and then we got to meet Steve, man, and he was awesome. Was great. Did he know yeah. the impression? I don't think he knew the impression. I don't know if he though. knows the impression. I don't think Stone Cold cares even. Yeah. You know, no, but. Big you know, hug, talk to him for like 15 minutes, and I'm just looking at him, like listening to his voice, going, This, is, <laughs> this rules, man. <laughs> Son, how you doing? You're in, in Japan for eight years, right? I go, yeah, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> You're giving me more material, man. Just like, here, I'm talking. <laughs> just doing it with me. <laughs> What's amazing about him, too, I mean, you talk about good brothers, the fact that, like, you know, he's, to me, I think, the best wrestler of all time. Like, he's the, mo the biggest, he's whatever. The he's icon of everything. Of wrestling. Yeah. And he still likes wrestling He somehow. still likes it. He's yeah, talking he's to like... us about stuff we did in Japan, and we're like, you watched that? <laughs> yeah. I, I awesome. walked, I literally, the first time I met him, I walked by in the hallway, and he sticks his head out and goes, was you going to walk by me? And I went, <laughs> no, sir. He goes, I didn't think so now. And I was, I'm just like, can, 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 we, can, can we pull aside what? and talk? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but he's, they said that to me because he wanted to talk to me about wrestling, man. It's, it's just, amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Great. He's yeah. a man. What a how, many more, how many more interactions do you think you have to have with him before you start talking like him to him? That might take us a little while. I don't know if we want to go <laughs> fire up on old Stone Cold just yet. <laughs> I, got, I saw him last before he did the podcast with Ambrose. I, I, go, I go, Steve, because we're buddies now, you know. And I go, <laughs> <laughs> big hug, and he goes, doggone son, how much cologne did you put on? <laughs> Some people put that stuff on, they walk into the room, and you just realize they put too much on. I was like, well, is, is that me, Steve? But then at that point, you start talking to Sasha Banks, he'd forgotten I was even there. <laughs> it's true, though. Naturally. I guess I put too much on that day. Yeah, you did. <laughs>